Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing? Man, it's here. Okay, so let's look at another great swing right here. I love watching Georgia hitters. I've been doing so for many, many years. They all use their body so well to deliver the barrel of the bat, to create bat speed, a proper path, great timing, great quickness with their swing. So if you've watched our channel before or if you've watched our Building the Elite Swing course, you know about the four core principles that we talk about. I'm going to go over them really quickly because it's always great to watch great hitters from great programs demonstrate those core principles. So we can see here as she starts to move out, notice how she's coiling the lower body. She's going to take the back pocket and start to turn it towards the pitcher. You're going to notice the hips are going to close or coil. If you look at this Georgia symbol right there in the back of her belt loop, notice how that goes from facing this way to soon facing this way. Right, right there. So you can see the hips closing as she moves out. Notice how she continues to keep the hips closed and the leg loaded back as she is striding out. So it's close, close, close. Now we can't see the entire rear arm in this shot, but notice how as she moves out, she's pulling back. So core principle two is pulling back with the upper body, getting the rear arm behind the hands. Notice how they're behind. The hands are here, the arm is behind, it's not down here. She's resisting with the upper body as she moves out with the lower body. So she's resisting, resisting, resisting. A lot of youth players, a lot of young players that come to us, their upper body wants to start to go forward. Their hands start to push forward. Their rear arm starts to come down too early. But the really, really good hitters, they load the lower body, they keep it loaded as they move out, and then they resist by pulling back with the upper body. And that puts them in a great position to hit from. Now, she gets an off-speed pitch here, and she does a great job. Notice as her foot comes into the ground right here. Notice that little pause, right? So she was getting geared up for a faster pitch than she got. But she keeps her lower body loaded, she keeps her upper body pulled back, and she just holds on to that load just a little bit longer, and now she goes, and she hits a home run. So I didn't even mean to talk about how to adjust to different pitch speeds, but if you just do the core principles properly, if you load the lower body properly, if you pull back and load the upper body properly, and then you just hold on to it on an off speed pitch or something slower than the pitch that you were anticipating, it gives you a chance to be able to hit that pitch. Now it's time to swing. Her rear leg is going to start to turn forward. When that happens, notice her upper body starts to work north-south. Her upper body isn't pulling hard to the left. If we circle her head, notice how her head stays right there. That's because the upper body is working back. If your upper body works forward or if you pull out to the left, you're going to notice she's going to come out of posture and her head would go forward and pull off the ball. But look at how still her head is. So a lot of people will talk about you've got to have your head stay still, but how do you do that? You need to make sure that your lower body is working properly and your upper body is working properly. So there's the upper body working back instead of pulling out. She stays in really, really good posture. And then core principle four is getting the barrel to turn rearward. Notice the barrel working back. She's getting palm up, palm down. There's a great shot right there. She's palm up, palm down, Barrel is laid back, so the barrel is lagging. It's turned back, right? This move right here, turning the barrel back. And now, as she continues to turn, she's palm up, palm up, palm up, palm up. Even there, she's still palm up. So she has turned the barrel back, and now she gets the barrel behind the ball. She's going to be slightly up through the hitting zone. So this barrel is short and direct, and this is where I really want to make sure that we emphasize this. The barrel is going to work slightly up through contact, but that doesn't mean that we take this big, long swing. 
The barrel is still short and tight to her body. It's inside. It's direct. Right? There's not a lot of length here, but it's still working rearward because she's getting palm up, palm down. She's turning the barrel back. And so she can hit velocity, but she's going to still have a positive attack angle, which means the barrel is going to work positively or slightly up through the hitting zone. And again, look at this extension through and she's still palm up. That's how you stay through the ball and through the hitting zone. And now her wrists roll over right there. So a picture perfect swing demonstrating all four of the core principles that we talk about. Again, if you're new to our channel, go watch our other videos or click the description box below and you can check out our building the elite swing course. We talk about all four core principles. We have well over two hours of instruction and then we have 50 drills to build these core principles into your swing so definitely go and check that out that's all i have i hope that helps subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell give it a thumbs up all that good stuff and we'll talk to you later